Hi, it's Marie. I wanted to do a real life walkthrough of Dubsado with a kid because this is my life. I'm a virtual assistant and a mom. And so I'm gonna show you how it looks like as I walk through this process through Dubsado um, and just show you a complete walk walkthrough of Dubsado. This is gonna be as quick as possible. It's gonna possibly be five minutes and I will let you guys kind of just judge based on that. But I will also do thorough videos. I'm gonna do a few other videos on actually completing a complete proposal with graphics. Um, and completing some workflows. So I wanted to show you the first part here, which is a dashboard. Um, my daughter is definitely calm right now. I don't know how long that'll last, so hopefully it lasts for the five minutes. The dashboard is gonna be the place where you get all the fun things, right? You have the financial goals. I like to set this either monthly or yearly, just to kind of see if you've reached that mark. I want to set a boundary for myself, or well, not a boundary, but like a goal for myself each month, and then see if I've actually accomplished that because, ah, hooray, we all know that we love those, right? When we actually reach our, our goal for the month. So that's where you'll see that, I can set that, and that will reoccur or reset every month. And then what will happen here is an open invoices. If there are any open invoices in this Dubsado, it will then show you those open invoices, and you can click this, it's a hyperlink to that. The revenue is going to tell you up the last 30 days. It shows you any open invoices that you may have here, any kind of contracts, any kind of workflows that needs to be approved, and then it gives you some updates. You have the calendar overview. If you are looking at the calendar overview and it's blank, it's because you haven't connected your calendar yet. That's easy to connect. You'll go over here to calendar and do calendar settings. Then you have down here the financials. It tells you a roll in the scale of weeks, but you can also customize that up here uh, to show you a different proximity. Um, and then over here is your task within Dubsado. There are great task reminders, so I think that's pretty cool. All right, jumping into projects. Projects is the one place that you can actually see um, all of the things, all of the people, all of the clients, all in one place. Um, you can also customize the actual labels up here through this custom button, um, but you can create a new project manually as well, but these are all zapped in because I have a lead capture um, through um, Dubsado that usually gets filled online and then it gets um, populated here. This normally just asks you for the basics, the topic of the project. Some people may project name projects differently. I name them by the actual client name. Um, and then it's also going to be the status and things like that. Um, each of these projects have different cards. I'm gonna show you a card. The card looks very fancy. It gives you a lot of information, but it's fun because you can also customize it based on um, your needs. Um, and what I mean by that is you can create custom fields. You can also um, have a portal. All these things I'm gonna talk about later. This is just a five minute walkthrough, I promise. So you have emails that will show here. It will show you the entire email thread based on um, your actual client. So it's matching these emails and it kind of connects it to that client. You have invoices, it will show you the invoice list. You have the reoccurring invoices that you can also see, refunds and all the famous jazz. You have forms. This form section here will show you either the forms that have been filled out by the client or you can add a form here for them to fill out and send. You have appointments, if they made an appointment with you, this is where that'll be. You have walkthroughs that I'm gonna go through on a different video and it will definitely give you some more updates and um, just a, a timeline of, or just an overview of how work, work, workflows work. <laughs> and then you have task. Task is where you saw on that home screen that you can individualize and place on either client cards or you can make different ones here like task boards, which is pretty cool because it's kind of like if you have Trello or ClickUp, like my favorite, favorite one, that's how you are able to kind of keep um, up to date with tasks within a client card. And the notes is just a note section as you may think. Reporting, all about reporting is really simple. It's all reports. Then you have over here the calendar that I was telling you about. This is where you will connect your calendar. It's just to have all the events on your calendar to be exported um, to Dubsado and from Dubsado. So it's two-way sync. You have tasks. This is just a reoccurring place where all the tasks would be overlaid. And then you have the utilities from the form list. The form list is any forms that are sent out. Normally the kind is displayed here. Mine is normally a proposal um, within this exact field here here or within this exact Dubsado um, set up here and it'll tell you the date, the sense, if it was sent, if it was completed, all the fancy things. Address book is all the clients that have put in their information. It's all in here with their phone numbers and all that jazz and I'm sorry for showing all these people. I'm going to have to block it out. And then the time tracker. There's a time tracker in here. A lot of people use Trello or I use ClickUp for my time tracking but this is how you can do that per project. The templates are something I'm gonna go through on a later video because it's awesome and I wanna make sure that you guys had the full detail of that. But you have a scheduler 
just like you would in Acuity or Calendly. You can set that up here. Um, and it's pretty cool because you can do custom emails to go with these schedulers. The forms is another thing I'll be showing in another video because I need to dive deep in this. Canned emails, very, very, very um, cool because you have all these canned emails from Dubsado itself, but you can also create ones for your own business and just for your specific needs. Packages are all gonna be um, here with the totals that you put in. You have a lot of sample packages. Um, and then you have discount section that you can add your own discount. Over here for the last two, you have workflow. Workflow, I'm going to have to show you in another video, so you gotta stay tuned. Um, that workflow is gonna be definitely different. I deleted the sample because I knew that I wanted to show you one custom, um, but workflows are a place that you can actually create sequences for different projects. So different clients can get um, a certain sequence or you can do it based on proposal, lead caption, all the famous jazz. Okay, I think I passed five minutes. I don't know, but I think I'm doing good. Then you have, lastly, you have the payment plan. Dubsado has been making great updates in terms of payment plan updates. So you can now have the 34, 33, 33, or fixed deposit and pay in full 50, 50. So these are all gonna determine, based on your invoice amount, the division of it automatically. All right, I think I did that in a good amount of time. I don't know, you have to be the judge. But stay tuned because I do have upcoming videos about Dubsado and it's gonna be complete walkflow, walk through workflows. <laughs> and then other stuff, this is uncanned. I'm literally not editing this video. I want you to see, oh my gosh. I want you to see how it actually is in real life with having a baby and having to do work as a virtual assistant because it is a day in the life of a VA. And I'm really excited for you guys to join. Also, while I'm here, okay, I'm gonna leave the link in the description below, but I want you guys to join our Royal VA community, okay? It is on community dot royalva.academy now i want to show you guys this really quick what we have in here are different sections and spaces we try to celebrate each and every one of us vas and wanting to be vas because we want a place that is safe and a place that we can actually explore all of the things um this is not like a facebook group this is actually more private and more personal you know so take a look at that i'll leave the link on the bio thank you so much for joining